It's an AL Central battle between the Royals and the Twins. Johan Santana would get inducted into the Twins Hall of Fame prior to the game. That's Rod Carew putting on his jacket as his son would throw out the first pitch. What a ceremony. We'll pick things up in the bottom of the first with Burt Smith facing Eddie Rosario. Royals have three on the right side and with one out the pitch a swing and a drive into right field and deep. Beckett goes, deep it goes and gone. To the porch in right field, a home run for Rosario. And it's 1-0 Twins. Bases are loaded, one down, and Gordon at the plate. And that's hooked to right, a base hit. Phillips will score. Buter around third. He's coming home. And two runs have scored. The Royals take the lead on their first hit for the ball game. Minnesota Twins. Oh, uh, a drive to right field. Damn. Back and deep. And gone! Kepler with a two-run home run. His 14th of the year. And the Twins are back in front. Well, Smith looked like he wanted to come fastball in, and it didn't get it in far enough. Kepler opening up quickly and getting it airborne. First the 1-0 pitch, and tapper down the third baseline, past the diving Herrera. Twins now lead 5-2. Get some quick outs here. That is There's pretty one. quick. On the ground. There we go. Back in by Polanco, and that ends the inning. Seven impressive innings for Barrios again. Morrison, 14 home runs. 37 RBIs. And the 0-1 pitch, a swing and a drive. Right field and deep, way back. Back it goes, deep it goes, and a mammoth home run. Morrison with a bomb to right field. Updating those numbers, now 15 homers, 39 knocked in. And the Twins have a commanding 8-2 lead. 8-2 Twins would be your final. Burt Smith gets the loss to drop to 1-3. He goes five innings, six earned runs on seven hits. The win would go to Jose Barrio, seven innings, two runs on five hits with six strikeouts. He improves to 11 and eight. Max Kepler would go a perfect three for three with a home run, two runs scored, and two RBIs.